I'm Muff Murfin. Uh, I've been in the music business for some, well, ever since I was about sort of uh, 15 when I started singing. But before that, I was a boy soprano, so I always got paid even when I was about eight years old. Um, I started off in the business doing cover versions um, on Marble Arts Records many years ago with some very famous people like Elton John and David Byrne, and Eddie Rye Heap. We used to get paid £10 a song. And actually being in the studios, I decided one day in London that I would also like my own studio. So I built a small studio with a partner in, in Worcester, underneath Russell, what used to be Russell and Doris, under the, uh, the Lichgate, in fact, now, or the Cathedral Plaza. And that I outgrew that studio, although we had several hit records for the Northern Soul and, and various dance records in that studio. I then built the studio at the old Smithy out in Kemsey, um, a much bigger studio. We were 24 track very quickly and recorded a lot of very, very famous bands like The Drifters, Roy Wood, ELO, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest and many, many of big bands as well as a lot of big uh, of my soul favourites like Jimmy Ruffin, uh, Edwin Starr. So it was a great way of actually meeting all my heroes of when I was very young. Uh, the studios have developed. We started off 24 track uh, and since then we've actually gone into Pro Tools, which is now the industry standard and Pro Tools is expanding all the time. We have two studios. We have the main studio which is this one and then we also have a smaller studio where we do commercials for my radio stations, voiceovers for television, for video, uh, but in the main studio we do record anything from classical music right through to heavy rock. So whoever books it basically. Back in the early days of course I was also one of the engineers but the problem is when you become an owner and more of a businessman owning radio stations and, and, and several studios it's very difficult to keep up with technology it's moving so fast nowadays. So I have two young engineers which I've trained up for the past couple of years onto Pro Tools. They do everything I want to do. So if I'm producing records or producing anybody or producing my own music which I write, then they do all the engineering side of it. They are far ahead of me now, you know, very, very good at Pro Tools. Um, uh, they, they came from a, a college in Worcester, Worcester Technical College. Uh, and they've, I've trained them for two years, they've become really superb at what they do now. Um, and all I do is still write music uh, and produce. And probably annoy the hell out of them when I stand over and say I want the drum sound to sound like this or I want more reverb on that. Uh, I think, but it's great training for them. Uh, and they are becoming very, very competent producers as well as engineers now. The best advice I can give to youngsters today that want to get into this business is to think very carefully because jobs are very few and far between so therefore if you want a job in this business you've got to be better than everybody else so if I was encouraging someone at the moment because of the the development of, of websites etc it's possible now to download a version of Pro Tools from the web on a trial basis an eight track version which is free and quite legal and it teaches you the basics of Pro Tools the other thing that as, as, as upcoming engineers have to do now, samples are coming into the business, very much so. So you need to become a very competent keyboard player because people working studios now will very often come into a studio and expect you to be able to play keyboards or play the samples. So besides learning how to learn Pro Tools, you need to develop your musical skills as well because you need to know what's in tune, you need to know the right chords that are needed because producers expect you to. So therefore, get yourself into Pro Tools, get yourself into keyboards, and it's a great way of spending your, your hobby time anyway, and you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. If you're into music, it's a fantastic thing, but the most important thing is keyboards and Pro Tools. And if you learn that before you then go on to college, you're one step of everybody else. But keep it up while you're at college. Don't just go to college and expect to do your basic lectures. Still keep up your keyboard skills, and still try and find studios like this and go and make the coffee. I started off in, in, in some studios making just making the coffee. So get your mum to teach you how to make a good cup of coffee, a good cup of tea, serve it to the right people at the right time and just keep your mouth closed and your ears and your eyes open and you learn an awful lot that way. So if you, if you couple that with a, a college course or a university course, you're one step of everybody else. I suppose really, having written a lot of music, um, the most 
there's nothing greater than actually two reasons. A, sitting down and listening to even a big orchestra play. I've written music for orchestras. And to sit down and actually hear the orchestra play that music and think, I wrote that. It just brings out um, some unbelievable sort of feelings at the back of your head. Um, and also, even if it's rock music, to know that when it's produced and finished, you actually wrote it. I, you just can't take away that feeling. That's something that I shall always have with me.